I don't wanna. But I don't wanna. But I don't wanna. Falcor, do you wanna? Hey guys, it's Dro here again. Ugh. I really don't want to do this one. Today, I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit of a silly subject that came up. Why not do a video about it? And let's get a discussion going to see what you guys think about it. So a Facebook friend of mine this morning went ahead and tagged me in a post from this girl, Sonia, who used to be on my friends list. She actually has a fennec fox that she has made vegan. It kind of brought up the question on, is this really a thing that people are doing with their pets, especially the ones that are supposed to be carnivorous? Because none of that really makes sense to me. Ugh, I really didn't want to make a video on this topic. In my opinion I think it's really stupid it's not something that I would personally do for my animals so I'm not sure exactly what happened but I guess at some point after I got tagged she decided to go ahead and just delete me off her friends list maybe she didn't want me seeing what was going on there because honestly there are a couple of arguments that have been made about this whole subject I'm just curious as to how this is all working out so for the first thing I noticed she did mention that she has a vet who's been taking care of this fox and making sure that it's completely healthy and everything is okay one thing that I don't understand is is what kind of vet would be okay with feeding a carnivorous animal just a fully vegan diet like that? I would love to hear from them if any of you guys out there are a vet or a vet tech who promotes this type of diet for animals that don't necessarily need it then go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and, and what your reasons are because I'm really curious to learn as to why people think that this is okay and why people are doing it. I don't know for 100% fact that what they're saying isn't true. All I'm seeing is what people write up on the internet, right? Which is how most of us are learning things these days. Now, I do have experience obviously with fennec foxes because I've had Scout for 10 years now. I do know that if I give him different types of food, he's always going to go for the live food first. Whether it's mice or bugs like crickets or worms or or roaches or any of the stuff that I breed for him to eat I know that he has always preferred those over any vegetation in the wild from what I understand over years of working with them they actually barely eat any vegetation they mainly eat bugs and lizards and eggs or birds and other types of animals that they hunt for. Another thing that I've noticed is that a lot of my friends who are actually vets and who are vet technicians in some way have all said that they've seen a rise in people coming in that have animals who are really sick because they've been switched to vegan diets. This means like usually cats and dogs who people think that they can just go buy vegan dog food and feed them that regularly. From what I understand, that food is actually made for animals who have a problem with digesting certain proteins so they switch them to that diet to keep them alive longer instead of not feeding them at all. I think some people probably went a little nutty at some point and thought that this is for you to convert your animal into being a vegan and a couple of the arguments I see is uh, one of them is the animal doesn't really have a choice he can't say no or that he doesn't feel good or that it's making him feel lethargic if he's not getting the proper nutrients and you really don't know until it's almost too late and they really start suffering another one of the things that I see is that even though an animal like a fennec fox needs taurine to survive properly that the synthetic stuff that they stick in those foods is actually good enough for them from what I've learned with the way the body processes food in research in the past I've kind of noticed that there are proteins that are broken down differently uh, if they're plant-made versus made from animal matters so I would love to see some study that shows that these animals are getting the taurine that they need just from the synthetic stuff I haven't seen any animal that's supposed to be primarily on a carnivorous diet alive for the 12 to 18 years that they're supposed to be whether it's a dog or cat or a fox I always hear that within a few years those animals get sick, they end up having kidney failures and, and all sorts of other problems and end up passing away within a few years of being switched that diet. Now from that fox I understand uh, from a couple comments that I read that he was not always vegan since he was born. That might be a reason why he still looks like he's doing good. But I noticed that a lot of the people that are her friends including herself have been saying that people like me and the people that I associate with are animal traffickers and abusers and all of these false statements. I'm kind of wondering why. Why would that even be a thing? She says that she is uh, not okay with animals being purchased from breeders because they are just so-called animal traffickers. There are a lot of breeders who are actually very picky about who the animals go to and trust me, they would never put it in the hands of somebody like you who goes out there and tries to feed your exotic pet a vegan diet when they're obviously carnivorous. I know a lot of people want to say that, you know, foxes are omnivores. That's really not true. And if you look at the recent studies that have been done, there's a lot of information out there that will show you foxes are mostly carnivores. They do eat some 
some plant matter, but very little. So I'm wondering how these like vegan cat foods that you're feeding to your fox is gonna keep it alive for its whole lifetime when it's not getting all the proper nutrients. And if they are getting the proper nutrients, then show me proof, like what vet is saying that this is okay and what blood tests are showing that everything is fine. I'm just curious to see the proof because I have always said that this whole subject is really stupid and anybody who tries to convert their carnivorous animal into a vegan is a fucking idiot. At the end of the day, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm the naive one and maybe there's new studies out there that show that these animals are you know, doing fine for many years and living a whole lifetime without getting sick. Now, I don't know how she cares for her animals. I'm not there to see. I'm sure she's very loving to them. It sounds to me like she's actually an animal advocate. She loves them enough to where she wants to do something this extreme just to make sure that animals don't get hurt. And I get that. But why get an animal that hurts other animals to survive if you don't believe in that, it just doesn't make sense to me. So you think that because your fox came as a rescue and you didn't pay for it, that you're not a part of this whole animal trafficking thing and whatever. If you're having a problem with people who own exotic pets, you shouldn't be owning an exotic pet either. And it just doesn't make sense to me that you try to justify it by saying that it's because you rehomed it and because you're rescuing it. That's not a rescue. In my eyes, and I guess a lot of other people's eyes, we see it as you doing more harm than good. Please, anybody who watches this video, don't make a consideration that your cat or dog or exotic pet should be switched over to a vegan diet. This has not been proven yet that I have seen. I'm definitely willing to change my opinion. If I start seeing all these animals that are living full healthy lives with a vegan diet, all I've seen and heard about right now is animals getting sick and coming into the hospitals and the vet's offices just being really malnourished because people have chosen to change their diet like that. This other girl, Jasmine or Jasmine, it says, okay, she says, happy, healthy, plant-based wolf dog. Most plant-based commercial cat foods have taurine in it. Did you know that a lot of taurine and flesh-based cat food is synthetically derived as well? If a cat can be sustained without murder, they should be. And then she says here, Fennec foxes are carnivores and need as much taurine as cats, yet he's alive. Am I the new Jesus Christ doing miracles? No, you're not a Jesus Christ doing miracles. However, it's just really stupid to believe that just because your fox looks good after maybe a couple years of being on a vegan diet, that that's the right thing to do. I am personally really hoping that I'm wrong about all this. So with the argument that your pet doesn't really have a choice on what diet he wants, I'm gonna go ahead and give my pets the choice to choose between two different bowls of food. One of them's gonna have bugs or meat in them. The other one's gonna have have a plant-based diet. Let's see which one they choose. Here you go, Luna. I'm gonna give you two choices. You can either have vegetables or meat. She's going for the rice. She didn't eat it though. She spit it out. She's looking for more meat. She's kind of upset that her veggies don't have any more meat in it. And now she's confused. He's like, what is this stuff? This isn't what I'm supposed to eat. What about you, kitty? Would you prefer the meat or the veggies? Let's put a veggie bowl here first. See what he does with it. Sniffing it. Put some meat down. See if he goes for it. Which one do you want, buddy? You choose. Looks like he's going for the meat. Do you like the meat? Yeah? Oh, we gotta cover those boobies before they demonetize the scalp. Which one do you prefer?
Okay, fine, so maybe this isn't a legit test, but you let me know what you think. So I'm really interested to see what your opinions are on this. Uh, leave it in the comments below. I don't know what else to say. What's up? Hi. I'm videotaping. Hi. Because you're an animal trafficker. You're a fennec fox trafficker. You enslave them for your own enjoyment. Yeah, or something I like that. I love them and they love me too. Are you going to make your fennec foxes go vegan? No. No, I'm not. That would be terrible for them.